Awa awa I will try it like a legancha. Awa awa go to sing so we miss a namcha. Awa awa sibona wense kaganja. Awa awa amandumbasa. The genuine intellectual by Bernard Fonlon reflects on the role and responsibilities of intellectuals in society. Fonlon argues that a genuine intellectual must be committed to truth, integrity, and social justice. He emphasizes the importance of critical thinking and the need for intellectuals to engage with and challenge the status quo, rather than merely conforming to prevailing ideologies. Fonlon also discusses the moral and ethical obligations of intellectuals to advocate for the marginalized and to use their knowledge and skills to foster positive change. He warns against the dangers of intellectual complacency and the temptation to prioritize personal gain over societal improvement. Overall, the work serves as a call to action for intellectuals to fulfill their potential as agents of transformation in their communities. She's a rich girl, she don't try to hide it, diamonds on the soles of her shoes. He's a poor boy, empty as a pocket. Empty as a pocket with nothing to lose Sing ta na na ta na 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 She got diamonds on the soles of her shoes ta na na This book is by one who has been described as the African Socrates. The author stresses the idea in the 1980s that what Africa needs to fight imperialism and neocolonialism is capital and knowledge. It is Professor Fonlon's chief concern in this book to show the scientific and philosophical nature and and purpose of university education which should produce the intellectual. He shows that every educated person can use the scientific method to describe or discover truth and put his specialized knowledge to the benefit of commonwealth first, then to himself. Although the genuine intellectual is addressed to all African students at the beginning of a university career, it challenges everyone who is supposed to be the guard fly and the guard of society. This book, Slim as it looks, took Bernard Sokika Fonlon the best part of five laborious years to write, that is from 1965 to 1969 inclusive. In the prolegomenal of his book, he writes, and I quote, I was penning away as students in France were up in arms against the academic establishment, and their fury almost toppled a powerful, prestigious political giant like General de Gaulle. In America, students, arms in hand, besieged and stormed the buildings of the university administration. Others blew up lecture halls in Canada. The student revolt, a very severe indignatio, was in paroxysm. But in England, safe in the London School of Economics, where students rioted for the lame reason that the college gate looked like that of a jailhouse. All was calm. End of quote. People say she's crazy, she got diamonds on the soles of her shoes. Well, that's one way to lose these walking blues. Diamonds on the soles of her shoes. Ponlon drew on these events to define the role of university education in this precious treasure of a book, which it dedicates to every African freshman and fresh woman. The book details his reflections and vision on the scientific and philosophical nature, end and purpose of university studies. He calls on all African students to harness the scientific method in their quest for truth and to put the specialized knowledge they acquire to the benefit of the common word first, then to themselves. To do this effectively, universities must jealously protect academic freedom from all known academic interferences. For any university that does not teach a student to think critically and in total freedom has taught him or her nothing of genuine worth. Universities are and must remain sacred places and spaces for the forging of genuine intellectuals imbued with skills and zeal to assume and promote social responsibilities with self-abnegation. Dr. Hans Bonwi Fonka is a lecturer in the Department of English in the Faculty of Arts at the University of Baminda. He's a teacher, a researcher and a writer. His interest is in poetry. 
and he has published poems in Songs for Tomorrow, Cameroon Poetry in English, and other poetry collections. As a researcher, his research interest focuses largely on contact languages, especially pidgins and queers. He's a member of the Anglophone Cameroon Writers Association and many other academic institutions. I caught up with Dr. Hans Bonwe Fonka to find out why he would recommend the genuine intellectual and he has this to say. I would recommend genuine intellectual to every freshman and even as a course book in the university because genuine intellectual by Bernard von Lohr is still very relevant to the university community today as it was more than 40 years ago. The depth of knowledge from different disciplines, scientific writing, history and literature, philosophy amongst others, and moral values that should accompany knowledge acquisition are a whole lot that every freshman should put on as a uniform during and after university education. About knowledge acquisition, Fondon makes a difference between being intelligent and being a genuine intellectual. University education, as he says, is not just the acquisition of knowledge or intelligence because a pile of stones, however high, does not constitute an edifice. University studies, well done, should be imbued with the principle of life and growth. By this, he recommends multidisciplinary studies because what one studies in the university may not be exactly what will give one a future. This book will enable the university community to help every freshman to understand that they need to correctly, diligently and thoroughly pursue university education to graduate as thinker scholars or intellectuals. About moral values, Fondon points out that it is not just enough to acquire knowledge. Knowledge accompanied with character constitutes the hallmark of a genuine intellectual. A genuine intellectual concerns himself or herself with the search for the truth. He relates this to history and points out that history can be false, not only when lies are told, but also when essential facts are left out. A genuine intellectual is an ardent lover and servant of humankind, the affection brother of every human being. When students graduate with these values, we can be sure of a better society where graduates are not only the wisdom of the society, but are equally the moral conscience of that society. Published by Bumako in its third edition, an incisive contextual introduction is written by Leke Tambo, Professor of Education, and a postscript to Chapter 4, written by both Professor Rose Ghana Fomban Leke, Laureate of African Union 2021 Kwame Nkrumah Scientific Award for Women, and Professor Robert John Ivo Leke, who highlight the scientific method discussed in this chapter. Wearing diamonds on the soles of their shoes And I could say Ooh. And that was CRTV's Book in Focus Interested in volunteering for Book in Focus? Get in touch at crtvbookinfocus at gmail.com or visit www.bestacademy.org Call or WhatsApp us at 242-14 4848-677534247. We were technically assisted by Justine Oven for presentation. I am KK Bonte. Diamonds on the soles of the shoes. Diamonds on the soles of the shoes. Diamonds on the soles of the shoes. Diamonds on the soles of the shoes.